to unlock different topics in science in fun and interesting ways. And today, my dear life science friends, is your lucky day. Because, wait, is that 7-Eleven of Stranger Things? Turn around and look at what you see. Wait! Dustin's blood burst! There's no time to wait for a new donor! That's why I'm bioprinting! Bioprinting? Yes, my side friends! You heard L right! And while L is printing a new blood for Dustin before saving the world, let's meet puppet Nancy to discuss bioprinting! Hey friends! Nancy here! Let's not squander any more time! Bioprinting has been used under regenerative medicine. So far, scientists have successfully bioprinted some tissues and organs such as the bladder. Bioprinting is like 3D printing, but instead of plastics, metals, or cement as printable inks, a 3D bioprinter uses bioink, a printable material made up of living cells that are enveloped by a cellular water-rich molecule called biopolymer gel to enable them to spread, grow, and proliferate. Now, let's say you want to bioprint a blotter for Dustin. First, you need to form a 3D model to be recreated by the printer. To do this, you need to install software that will convert the medical scans, MRI, or CT images of his bladder into exportable 3D printing models. Next, choose the materials that will be processed. The bioink you can use can be composed of living cells extracted from donors or from the recipients, lowering the chances of the bioprinted tissue or organ being rejected by their bodies. Then, load the bioink into the printing chamber. There are five 3D bioprinting technologies. And the most common method is extrusion-based bioprinting. In this method, the bioink will be dispensed out of the nozzle that can move along the X, Y, and Z axis. The placement of bioink is layer by layer and guided by the 3D printing model file exported earlier. Fourth, after printing, additional physical or chemical processes are done to stabilize the structure. Lastly, if the cells in the synthetic bladder function in the same manner as cells in the real bladder, such as they multiply, make energy, and transport molecules among each other, then you are successful! 3D bioprinting has brought us numerous biomedical applications and many challenges are still along the way. Yet, once you get past this, many possibilities that exceed human imagination are waving toward us, such as extending human life expectancy and so on. Well, that's it for today. 